people, it's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. Existing subscribers, how you guys doing? Got nothing but love for you guys, new subscribers, welcome. This is how the review gets broken down. Number one, I talk about the movie itself. No spoilers, basically give you my general thoughts on it without giving too much of the plot away. I like to keep it simple. Number two, I talk about a transfer. I will go balls deep in that bitch. I mean balls deep. Where I will talk about everything from the clarity to the HDR and all little points in between. And number three, I will give you my final thoughts on whether I feel you should pick it up, whether it's a worthwhile purchase or whatever. Let's get on with this shit. The first movie I loved. Thought it was gritty, a little bit of a diversion from what Tom Cruise really does. Now this one kind of takes away from that, feels more of a blockbusterish movie. You know, like a typical Hollywood movie. You got a guy who's kind of hardened by everything that's happened and now he's in a situation where he could potentially have a have a daughter. Do you know, that's in the I'm sport, that's in the trailer anyway. It's about really his relationship there and he's got a friend, a woman who who he's been communicating with whilst he's up to doing whatever it is he does, killing people and what have you. And she in a little bit of trouble. So he's trying to help her out and then all hell ensues. Now the first five minutes, which is also shown in the trailer, cafe. And I'm thinking, oh, hell yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The movie just becomes formulaic and cliched. Unfortunately, it's not one of those movies you can rem you're going to remember. I still remember Jack Reacher, the first one. But this one, you leave your brain at the door when it's an action movie. I don't think the first movie was like that. The first movie, I think, had a bit more darkness to it. This one, not so much. Hardened hero learning to cope with fatherhood, that kind of situation and everything in between. It kind of goes how you would expect it to go. And another thing that bothers me is there is chemistry somewhat between him and uh, Kobe Smulders. Kobe Smulders, god damn. Beautiful, beautiful. There's chemistry there, but it never really... It never really picks up. Felt unfulfilling that situation, but that's what I'm gonna say. Watch it if you want an action movie, yeah? But if you if you are looking for another Jack Reacher movie, it's not quite that. Doesn't really stack up. It's all right. What do you want me to say? Jack Reacher. Another offering from Universal, who let's face it, the only thing I remember from Universal lately is the Bourne collection. God damn. You gotta right some wrongs in this bitch. Let's see if you have. Sirens. Shot on 35mm film. Vision effects rendered at 2K. Digital intermediate 2K. Upscaled to 4K. Dolby Atmos sound. It's a nice filmic upgrade. So there is a level of grain over this bitch, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't detract from anything. Throughout the movie, you see a nice level of detail, a nice level of clarity, textures and clothings or whatever, whatever you've come to expect from a decent 4K transfer. It's a good 4K transfer. In some cases, it's a great transfer. There is clarity there and there is detail there, which is fairly noticeable. Right? It's noticeable. It's quite easily noticeable, especially from the, the 1080p disc. Black levels are very good throughout the movie. There's no crush. There's no loss of detail. The black levels are good in this bitch. The real winner of this movie, once again, is the HDR. God damn, the HDR is beautiful. It's vibrant, yet maintaining natural tones, especially skin tones and everything look natural as hell. From the offset, you'll notice the increased color space. Definitely notice a more refined color gradient. That combines with the with the added resolution, uh, it just, it creates a fantastic depth of field, a really good depth of field. And I think, especially with, with movies shot in film, depth of field is never really an issue. Depth of field is pretty decent throughout. And the explosions, which are really bright, blinding at times, god damn, HDR, is a real winner here and is very, very noticeable along with the extra detail. This dude ain't aged at all, yeah? He, I don't know what you're doing. But I wanna know, he like 85 years old, you look 25 years old in this bitch. God damn. I tell you who else looks great in 4K. Kobe Smulders. I don't know what it is about you, baby, but you were sexy as hell. You got a very authoritative role in this movie. You like, you know, giving orders and shit. I like that. I like that very much. If you happen to be watching this, baby, shout me out. Shout me out in 4K. Do a 4K video, send it to me, baby. Nasty. Brass tax seal of approval. I like it. I like the transfer. It's a good upgrade. It's not reference quality. Some scenes look fantastic, but it's not going to give you that wow factor. But it's, it's definitely an upgrade from the 1080p. 
This movie's cool, it's alright. For a Jack Reacher movie, compared to the first one, it doesn't hold up, it doesn't stand up in any way, shape or form. That being said, it's still a good action movie if that's what you're going to watch it as. So is it worth a pick up? It's up to you really, it's your choice. You're a Tom Cruise fan, you're a Tom Cruise fan. You know, you're going to pick it up anyway if it's your kind of movie. And it is decent at least. So you can pick it up and you'll definitely have fun with it. But don't go into the having too many expectations. The action scenes are great. Tom Cruise doing all his own shit. You're going to fuck around and die, I'm telling you. He is. He's doing too much of his own shit around here. I'm saying that shit. I'm giving it real. But what can you do? Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for all the support to all my existing subscribers and new subscribers. Take care. I'm going to catch you next time.